Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we have filled up our plant for the very first time. Um, well, when I say filled up the plant for the very first time, I mean that... Why is that thing still bouncing? I just cut the power. Oh, there it goes. Uh, that this top area is now at 100%, uh, and the bottom area is at 100% mostly, and we got... 99% on that sluice box and these are 85 now this these duplex jig buckets are not uh, full because when I started the plant up the first time I forgot to plug the power in <laughs> and I didn't realize it until I got to looking at this going hmm, how come this isn't working so that's a little behind but um, yeah it looks like uh, just about everything else I, I'm guessing that these hog pans don't fill all the way up after you know when everything else fills up but you know the majority of the gold is going to be in all of this stuff anyways um so let's go ahead and get started on our first uh cleanup here uh on our first tier three hundred percent tier three load so uh, i'm getting better uh with the front loader too as you know like anything else just takes a little bit of time but i'm kind of figuring out uh, its nuances and we are slowly uh, working on digging our way uh, over to here so we can get into here and then you know clean up all the rest of that stuff that was left behind by the backhoe i don't know about this stuff up here if it's uh, i mean normally it would be probably worth getting but if i can't reach it with the front loader i'm probably not going to worry about it we'll see how how that goes though uh but anyway let's go ahead and do this washout and see what or this clean out and see what happens um so i'm not even sure exactly where to start so i think what we'll do is we'll we'll start uh, up here uh, no not up there uh, up here just like we did in the prologue so I think the first thing it had us do was come up here and uh, remove these grates uh, so let's see where can we set them so they're not completely in the way yeah let's just put them in that spot there There we go. Okay, and then the number th three key is our small shovel that it wants us to use to dig this out. How come it's not working, though? Uh, it's not giving me the option to dig. So, yeah, what the heck, man? Isn't this supposed to let me dig in here and scoop this stuff out? I'm a little confused. Do we have to have one of these grates in place? Maybe we have to do it one grate at a time, and it's expecting us to stand on these. I don't remember exactly how I did it last time. So let's put three of them back in place. Uh, Houston? This is the shovel we're supposed to use, right? Oh! We don't pick the grates up. Oh, okay. See, I only did this once before, so... All right. Okay. So how many times do we do this? Ah, gotcha. Okay, so it looks like we'd have to do it twice. Now I see what's going on. Actually, I kind of like this better because I don't have to move the grates in a separate step. So this is good. Okay, so we got that in the bucket, and then I think we're supposed to take this bucket and just dump it right in the magnetite separator, because what else would we do with it at this point? 
Uh, well, here, let's just let's just set it down here for the for the moment, and let's grab the duplex jig buckets. Yeah, I think all of these go into the magnetite separator, just straight up. So these basically, these ones from the duplex jig are the same kind of thing that we had from the mobile wash plant, because that was essentially a duplex jig on wheels. Well, and a trommel and all the other stuff too. So I'm going to gather up all of these buckets here. And that gives us a total of five buckets of concentrate. I don't think there's any more buckets anywhere that we got to deal with. So now the rest is going to be uh, in here. But do we have to... Do we put a bucket on this thing? Yes, we do. Okay. Good. I'm glad I saw that or... <laughs> <laughs> we would have been wasting everything. Uh, okay, so um, now the next thing to do is to do the miner's mosses. Okay, so we grab these and just take them and throw them down there for now. And the miner mosses we take and put in here. And let's also... Grab this so we can kind of take them all over at the same time. I think that's where these little hauling crates are really going to come in handy. I think in a real world situation, though, you probably wouldn't want to do this because you could lose some of the gold. You want to take it and put it directly in the bucket. But this is kind of what I remember doing in the prologue, so... All right, let's set those down there. Okay, so it looks like we can put six mosses in there at a time. The other ones we'll probably just uh, take directly down and put them in here. Okay, so we've got, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got the mosses on this side, which we'll, we'll do in a moment. And then we'll also have the hog pen mosses too, which I'm, I'm pretty sure we can also wash in here. And I think that's, is there, wait a minute, is there something? No, that's this stuff here. Okay. It looked like the, these ones that are saying hundred percent were up there in the other sluice box, but I don't think so. All right. So now what we got to do, we got to turn our water back on. I'm excited to see how much gold we're going to get out of this. Keep in mind, too, I'm not necessarily digging in the best place either. I'm, I don't even know how good the gold is on that side. Uh, so, you know, there there's that consideration as well. Okay, let's turn everything back on. Well, actually, hold on. Let's start that. But we want to turn off the shaker. We want to basically turn all of this stuff off here because... We want the separator, the wavetable, and the nuggetator running. Okay. Hmm. Can I? There are, I think there are some valves on that splitter. But I don't know if I can work them. Yeah, see, none of the valves seem to work in this game. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Darn it, I screwed that all up now. All right, well, I guess we just keep running water down through these. I, I don't think that's hurting these because they're still staying at 85%, so I guess we just leave it the way it is. Okay, so um, let's start by, I guess we can turn this on and let it run while we start working the buckets. Look at that. Okay, cool. Um, let's get this light out of the way. And we're going to do our first magnetite.
Uh, right now, we, by the way, we have basically a half an ounce of gold. So, oh, is that done already? That was fast. Wait a minute, what? Oh, there's no water coming through here. Wait a second. Okay, why is there no water coming through there? There's water there. Uh, do we not... I bet you we don't have enough water to support the whole thing. Okay. So that must mean we probably can't run this and this at the same time. Unless we get a better water flow going. I think that's what that means. I don't think this matters because that was unplugged the first time and it still went out. Yeah. Oh, now it says there's not enough water for that either. All right, what the heck's going on here? There's no water coming here. We didn't have the creek dry out, did we? Okay, this must mean we don't have enough water? Sure looks like there's plenty of water in this creek. No, come on, get down here. There. I don't think that's the problem. There's something else going on here. So when this is red... Okay. Things kind of got screwed up when I... Connected this and then disconnected it. It looks like there's water coming through it now. Is that green over there again? It is. Wait, is it? Yeah, okay, so water's coming out of here. It's taking a long time to wind up, man. So something's screwy here. Magnetite separator has finished. I I think we're just pulling more water than the pump can handle. That's all that's my guess. I think that's what it is. So uh this one I think we can pull that one because it's feeding the washer or or I'm sorry the shaker. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna we just can't run the shaker when we're doing our, our clean out. Unless I mean I, I would figure that pump would have handled everything. Unless I've got something not set up correctly, I don't know. Look at that man, that thing is still going. That's awesome. Okay, so uh we got our, our magnetite done. Now let's load up here. Let's see if we can we should be able to hook up the wave the wave table now too, I would I would think. Guess we'll find out in a second here. Okay. And we can put another bucket in there. So let's run another bucket through this. Okay, let's run the next bucket of concentrate in here. All right, are you still going?
I guess the game will tell us when this is done, but I, it's still pouring concentrate in there, so. Okay, magnetite separator is done. Okay, this one's ready for a wave table. This one still needs... No, both of these still ma need magnetite. I'll get... I'll get into a, a good rhythm here. This is my first time doing... Well, technically my second time doing it because we did it during the prologue, but... I'll get into a rhythm here. Okay, so we have one more to run through here. I guess we just have to wait till this gets to 100%. That takes... Takes a while, but it sure beats washing it by hand, that's for sure. Okay, so all of this is ready to run uh, through the wave table. Um, so while we're waiting for that, I, I might actually invest in a second one of these if this takes this long eventually. So one for each side. Because we still have to do the miner moss, miner's mosses and, or I'm, I'm sorry, the hog pants and the other section of miner's mosses too. But let's go ahead and get these other minor mosses ready to go. What I think I need to do is hook this up in such a way that I can disconnect all of this water from running because we're just wasting, you know, water, fuel, etc. by running it right now. And I might have done that already. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. It might be the second... Uh, the second hose. This one here. Yeah, because... Oh, right, because that's... I hooked it up so the so the third hose is hose is feeding those devices and also the hog pen. So I probably will redo that. So when we do a clean out, I just disconnect the two hoses. Sorry, trying to get up here. I just disconnect these two hoses and leave that one running for the cleaning equipment. So I'll I'll probably redo that. Okay, so these are all empties. Those are all waiting for the wave table, and we already have two buckets in the wave table. All right, you're only at 29%, and that is no longer pouring anything out, so it doesn't tell us when it's done. Interesting. Okay. So let's get... I guess I don't have the other... I, sh I guess I should have this other thing out here, too. But uh, I'm just, I'll just run these back up here. I'm wondering if it would be worth our time to clean these out manually while we're waiting for the bigger ones. We'll see how long it takes. I'll do the hog pen mats in the uh, nuggetator the first time too and see how long it takes because if it takes forever of course i don't know is that going to be more efficient than us manually washing those not really sure all right let's load these guys up okay turn it on so right now the bucket's at 29 percent And we should see that start to climb. Um, okay, why why don't we now, don't we have water running through there again? Now what the heck's going on? Oh, because that oh because <laughs> that other water line feeds some of this. I forgot. Oh my goodness. Alright. First time guys. Yeah, I know I'm a greenhorn. I'll get better though. Okay, now it should work. There we go. Yeah, I'll redo all this. 
So, you know, everything's on its own water. Okay, this is going a lot faster than it did the first time. Oh, you know why? Because it's... Because I probably pulled the water. Maybe, I don't know. Apparently it doesn't fill that bucket up. Either that or I screwed up. Yeah, it just said we're done now. Maybe we didn't actually finish those other ones. Yeah, I'll bet you we didn't actually finish those other ones. Well, you know what? Let's, um... I'm, I'm going to redo it because if I... If that's the case, that's, that's, you know, I don't want to waste any gold, right? And we don't even need to put those in there. We can just put these right back in here. Because we know these ones are are done. Uh, I'm missing a moss. Where is it? What in the world? There's none in there. Oh, there it is. It was underneath the deal. Okay. Now, let's grab these again. I'm glad I didn't put the grates on yet. And put them back in here for a second. Okay, yep, these are these are completely clean, so I I, I don't remember if these were 100%. I think they were, so I think I just screwed something up by messing with the water. And it looks like we lost some gold, but, you know, whatever. It's our first time. All we can do is get better, right? Okay, now I'm going to put the grates back on so I don't forget... Okay, so now let's just disconnect those and we'll put the hog pan mats in here. Oh, nice. You can put them in side by side. That means we can do it all in one fell swoop. I, yeah, this is definitely going to be better than doing it by hand, I think. I don't remember if I did this on camera with you guys or if I did it after the fact, but I don't know if you remember, but I had a normal hog pan in here, and obviously it didn't work, so I had to go get a pump version to get the water going through there. Okay, we should be ready to fire this guy up. Okay. And now we also have one more bucket of concentrate. Okay, so that gives us a total of six buckets of concentrate. Uh, because remember, I already put two in the wave table. Let's replace these buckets for now so I don't forget later on. We got to also replace the jig bu buckets too. Um, all right, so again, I've got 0 0.507 ounces. Let's see what we get. All right, so we end up with 42.447 ounces of gold on a partial load because, again, we weren't, uh, we weren't full, completely full on everything. So that's not too bad, really. That's not too bad. Um, so I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to fine-tune some things. I'm going to reroute the water so that all I have to do is pull... Uh, or pull two hoses up there and have everything else coming down here. And I think, and, and this next time around, this duplex jig will be at 100% because we'll, we'll be running it full time. And uh, we'll see how we do on the next wash. So, yeah, not too bad, guys, not too bad. Um, And then I, I'm going to keep digging this way, like I said, uh, to, to break through into here so we can start scooping all the stuff out of here and 
keep working at this and keep making some gold. So I'll probably, I'm going to do another batch. Uh, <laughs> look at that dump truck wheels turning. I'm in another batch because I think, you know, if we do another batch, we're going to probably get close to a hundred, a uh, hundred ounces. And that should be enough. I think for us to go buy um, the conveyor belt, the hopper and the dump truck and return these rentals. Uh, so we could even put, what time is it? It's a little after five in the evening, uh, but it's, it gets a lot darker in Alaska this time of year, I guess. So I might even try and do that before midnight, because if we can do it before midnight, we, you know, we only have to pay for one day for those things. So, yeah, I think that's what the plan is. But. Uh, we are out of time in this episode, guys, so I'm going to let you go here. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably start the next episode um, when I uh, finish, or at least on the tail end of finishing our, our second uh, washing. And then I'll take you guys with me to cash out that gold and see how much money we make and if, see if we can get out from under the, renting this stuff. If we can't, uh, the dump truck and the conveyor belt are the two expensive things, so we'll at least... Get out from renting that and keep the hopper for a little longer if if we have to do it that way. So uh, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.